Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Team of the Season Brozovic card to review. So we're taking a look at a card who has three star skills, a four star weak foot, medium, medium work rated, 5'11 height at a lean body type. To be honest with you guys, this card is actually formatted kind of nicely, right? Because there's different ways that you can use a card like this in your squad. So Let's say, for instance, you just need that nice little cheeky link to a Parasage card. You can use this card not necessarily through the middle, but you can actually use them as a right mid if you really want to, right? Because, again, three at the back formations, pushing forward, coming back, always very important. We are mainly going to be trying them out through the middle, uh, playing in the CDM position, center mid position, uh, to see how he kind of performs in those areas. Because I want to give him an anchor chemistry style to give him decent pace, or not decent pace, but <laughs> it's funny how I say decent pace, but listen, shadow chemistry style is probably gonna be the most ideal, let's be honest, but still, anchor chemistry style, just, just for the sake of the review, right? We're gonna give him 97 acceleration at a 95 for sprint speed. In-game player traits, this card has the finesse shot traits as well as the dives into tackles trait with long passer, long shot taker as well, so a couple of good things to work with there. Now, with the shooting stuff, guys, right, with the shooting stuff, if you really want to be able to utilize the shooting stuff on the card, you give him a hunter chemistry style, right? You give him a, a chemistry style that improves the pace with the shooting, even if it has to be like a hawk where you, you know, mess with the physical a little bit as well while improving the shooting, then it's ideal because you have to understand that base card stats is still at a 78 for finishing. So there might not always be a consistency to it, right? But regardless, the shooting's in a decent area for someone who is mainly going to be playing the midfield position with a 90 for shot power at a four star weak foot, uh, 93 composure. So decent stuff there. Passing on the card is in a very good area. So with that type of stuff, guys, you don't have to test out too much. They just pass the ball really well for the most part. But we're going to be taking a look at it anyways, right? Uh, dribbling in game, he does have 87 reactions, 87 dribbling. But the rest of the stats are in the 90s area. So it should work out perfectly fine in game. Uh, defensively, with the anchor chemistry style, the card is going to be essentially perfect in the defensive stats. But he has a medium work rate, right, for defense. So we're going to see what that's like. Uh, and then obviously for physical capabilities, you're also making his physical stats perfect as well. So some interesting stuff there. We're going to be trying this card out mostly on the anchor chemistry style. Like I said, playing through the middle uh, of that CDM center mid position next to somebody else to see how he kind of performs pushing forward, coming back, all of that good stuff. So um, yeah, we'll try him out in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, no way. Green time finesse. Oh. Nice weak foot pass. Good AI interception. Well done, Brozovic. Collect there, Brozovic. Oh, we got the second one, though. Ooh, not a bad green. Cool. I'll take that. Oh, Magnon. There's no way you're letting that in, my G. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pulls a bitch with a defensive play. Nice. AI again there with Brozovic. If I didn't get the foul there screening, that would have been great. Again, Brozovic. This guy's doing a lot of AI stuff for me, eh? Almost lost it there again. <laughs> Dude, Rosevich was marking him the entire time, man. Eh? That was good. 
Taco. Well done, Rolovich again. Yeah, this card for 130 something K so far defensively has been solid for me. Beautiful challenge. Well done, Brozovic. Oh, nice, Brozovic. That was all Brozovic. That was all Brozovic. Brozovic. Hey man, AI wise, Brozovic was on top of my top of him. Top of him. Wow, too many player reviews today, boys. And through balls are terrible in this game. I guess you know what I'm saying though. Like I don't know. Like with Brozovic, if I give him a shadow while he does that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Brozovic with the interception. Kickoffs do be weird, man. Do be weird. But it good. Brozovic. Oh my goodness. Dude, I hit the crossbar so many times. After, I don't even know when to be honest with you. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Brozovic card. So guys, we were trying him out on the anchor chemistry style to boost the pace, defense, and physical as much as possible. Guys, I tell you guys this all the time, man. For me personally, I just give them a shadow anyways, right? I give them a shadow anyways because even if it's a plus two, three, four, I feel like it makes a massive difference on these cards, right? Because you have to understand that if you take a look at Brozovic's in-game stuff, his physical stats is already in a good area. It's a card who is a medium, medium work rate player that pushes forward and comes back pretty nicely, to be fair, right? So it's a card that for me personally, if I give him that Shadow Chemistry Cell, I just feel like I'll enjoy him way more because the extra pace, I feel like it's just super necessary in this game. However, I will say that if you do give him the anchor chemistry style, I'm not completely against it because it depends on what you see the most when you're defending in this game. Like for me, it's through balls and lob passes. I want to avoid that as much as possible. Even for some defensive AI stuff, you know, just him tracking back and getting the defensive AI tackles in and stuff, you kind of need extra pace to be able to do that on a consistent level, right? So for me personally, I would give him a shadow, but again, no right or wrong answer. Uh, when it comes to the shooting on the card, guys, you notice the 78 finishing for some of your shots. Uh, it would have been nice if his base card stats were improved a little bit more. But what you can actually do for this card, because his defensive stats is in a good area, because of that, you can give him the Hunter Chemistry style, right? But here's the thing, dudes. It all depends on your play style, okay? Do you find yourself often shooting with your midfielders because if you do let's just say for instance you're playing like the 3412 formation right and you're using this card in the left center mid position because he has that four star weak foot so he can definitely play that area if you are actually going to be going for those long range finesse shots giving him the hunter chemistry style will be very ideal because he still has those defensive stats now for me in this game guys i'm telling you i always feel like i want to improve stats to be as perfect as possible because this game requires it for normal use so that's why i give him the shadow right like the plus twos threes don't care for me it makes that little bit of difference but a hunter chemistry style would not be a bad choice because the card will still have the pace and he'll push forward and come back just as nicely because he still has really good defensive stats guys so you can see that a lot of people are giving him the anchor, the hunter basic. Shadow is one of the lower ones, but you guys know that I'm a freak, right? So um, it's just one of those things. We were mostly trying him on the anchor to show you guys the specific things that he may be missing from time to time. The shooting, like I said, a hunter chemistry style would definitely help that out a lot by giving it a plus 10. Uh, passing on the card was absolutely great. Uh, didn't really have any problems with that. The dribbling you do notice 
a little bit because the 87 dribbling, but not enough for you to not like it in the midfield position. Like, honestly, it's perfectly fine. It's not really a big deal at all. So, yeah, this SP, well, I was about to say SPC, but this guy in the transfer market is definitely a W for 125K, in my opinion, especially since he gives you the link to that Parasitch card if you guys still have it. And he also gives you uh, links to the Scrinier card if you guys have him as well. So, yeah, definitely a W for the price, price range that he's at. Definitely performs really well. I do still like Nkunku more, personally. I don't know, man. Nkunku, like, he... He do be hidden differently, you know what I'm saying? The 1.3 mil definitely makes that that little bit of a difference. French links and stuff. I don't know, and Cuckoo just has that, like, thing to him. And on this card, now that you can give him the anchor, it's just like, oh, you know? But it's the shooting, the shooting for base card stats. Guys, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is, bro. It's base card stats. When your base card stats is set up a certain way, I believe in that more than, you know, me giving a chemistry style and then looking at the stats that way. I believe in the chemistry style boost because I can feel it, okay? But... It's the base card stats that you feel the most. That I always tell this to people all the time. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.